Hey everybody, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. You guys seem to be crushing these videos. So guys, if you want more deck profiles, remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and leave a comment down below which deck you'd like to see in the future. As of right now, we're doing AL4. And every time we break 100 views on the previous video, or on this video, and we reach 150 on the previous video, I will release a new card fight deck profile or card fight video of your guys' choice. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into this video. Today we're doing Team AL4, or Strongest Team, and Darky Regulars. By far one of the most broken decks in Premium, in my opinion. There's a whole loop that I'd like to cover in a future video. But let's get into what this deck's about and how scary it really is. <coughs> Sorry. Alright, let's start off with our main ca card. No Life King, which is literally my name. No Life. Um, no Life King Death Art Anchor. Wow, I cannot read. He has the Imaginary Protect gift mark. Auto Vanguard. When placed, Soul Charge 1. This unit gets 2k until end of turn for every card in your soul. He has another Vanguard. Auto Vanguard. At the end of a battle, if you have... 13 cards or more in your soul cost counterblast one put a card from your hand and three of your rear guards into soul write a card from your soul as stand and it gets one crit there's a combo with one of the g starters that you just cycle three of them in and out every time which basically almost gives you an i mean it gives you five counter blasts gives you five rides but if you can find a way to counter charge every time you do this, you are just soul charging free until you deck out. But he is your main grade three. We also have a uh, ghoulish disposer, despoiler, uh, protect gift, uh, auto vanguard, when placed, cost counter blast one, soul charge two, return one grade two or less card from your soul to hand. When it attacks a vanguard, if you have a soul. If your soul has 10 or more cards, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, retire, and it gets 10k until end of turn. This is a pretty good first ride. Um, I honestly prefer the No Life King, but you do need a grade 3 in your soul to start off with. But with how much the deck soul charges, I don't think you'll have a problem with that. And as most protect, uh, as, as most protect decks run, we run one more grade 3. Uh, Dream Eater... And she has the protect gift mark. Auto Vanguard. When one of when your guardian is retired, you may put the top card of your deck into soul. Um, rear guard Vanguard. When it attacks, cost counter blast one. Put one of your other rear guards into soul. Draw a card until end of turn. Until end of that battle, it gets plus ten k and costs soul blast ten. Your opponent cannot call sentinels from his his or her hand pretty decent card it's a very situational card it's used i guess for those dp matchups uh but yeah not a terrible card moving right along uh we have werewolf seeger one of my favorite original cards i'm kind of sad he's no longer a 10k base but he does have a good skill vanguard rearguard during your turn if you have five or more cards in your soul this unit gets 5k cat power when it attacks a vanguard soul charge two this is going to be one of your main soul chargers. Um, moving right along, we have Blood Sacrifice Rutenville. I can't pronounce that. Uh, when placed, put one card from your damage zone or your drop zone into soul. If it was put from your damage zone, put the top card of your deck into the damage zone face down. If it is this card, if this card was put into your soul, counter charge one. So if he's in your damage zone... Or, no, who is it? Huh. If a... Who is it? Is it this guy? Nope. Who is it? If a... Maybe it's the type... If a van... Huh. I, I didn't catch that. Maybe it's a different name. Oh, no, I'm half asleep right now. So that is the second to last screen two pretty good it allows you to counter charge don't worry about prior moving right along we have gwen the reaper oh there it is it's the grade one don't remember a name like that um when place cause uh, when place 
Soul Charge 1. If you have 10 or more cards in your soul, cost counter blast 1. Choose one of your opponent's regards. Retire it. More field control, which is perfect for this deck. Uh, we have the other werewolf card. Rear guard cost. Put this unit into soul. Soul Charge 1. One of your units gets 5k power until end of turn. Pretty good overall. And then we have our second to last grid 1. Prism Beast. When placed, you may soul charge 1. If you have 5, and then his second continuous rear guard. If you have 5 more cards in your soul, this unit gets plus 2k until end of turn. Just a nice even attacker. All your grid 1s are basically just attackers. Lastly is the grade 1 to go with the grade 2 from earlier. When... When it is retired from guard, you may pay the cost. When this unit is put into soul due to one of your card's abilities, if it is, if it is your turn, during this turn, your vanguard gets plus 10k power until end of turn. So, so as long as you soul charge all four of these, I mean, if you can find a way to soul charge all four in a single turn, then you're giving your vanguard plus 40k, which is nice. And guys, because I have yet... The application I use has yet to update the cards for uh, Team Strongest uh, Strongest Team AL4. We have some Grand Blue Triggers, which just are holders. Obviously, you're going to be running the Grade Zero Starter that when wrote upon you draw a card. Four heals, eight crits, because you don't have a uh, front trigger. And honestly, crits probably work better than extra draws in this deck. You really don't need them. Um... And then your sentinel draws but that is the deck profile as an overview here you go one last time four three two those are we run ten uh sorry nine grade threes i thought i honestly thought we ran ten but i guess i'm wrong i guess we needed an extra card slot somewhere you're on 12 grade twos 12 grade ones and your 16 triggers does that that equals up Alrighty guys, I hope you did enjoy T Strongest Team. Remember to like and subscribe. Please, please, please. It means a lot. Um, I want to do a giveaway. But, so what I'm thinking is, is if we can break 800 subscribers, I'll give away triple prizes for each 700 and 800 subscribers. And if we reach 1,000 before the end, before October, so 30 days from now, or roughly... Um, then I will do a double giveaway both on the $40 gift card, or it would become gift cards, and two booster boxes of anyone's choice, of the winner's choices, to winners plus a whole bunch of gift marks, plus some custom gift marks I currently am working on. Alright guys, that's all I had to say. Until next time, I've been the Silver Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.